What is going on guys? Welcome back to another freaking video in the F-150 and about the F-150. So, for those of you guys who have been following my channel for the last little bit and subscribing, thank you guys so much for that. We're almost at 300 subscribers already. That's freaking awesome. But as you guys know, I bought and installed a K&N cold air intake into my truck. Um, it's something that I'd wanted to do for a long time. I'd read a lot of really great stuff about it. You know, it makes your truck, like it's like free bolt-on horsepower, essentially, you know? You can just install the cold air intake. You don't even have to do a tune on the vehicle. And you know, you'll get like an estimated like 15 to 18 um, gain in horsepower and throttle response, and it'll actually increase the fuel economy. I mean, those were all the things that I read. Um, you know, I talked to some people in person who I knew had installed it and they all were like, oh yeah, it's great. You totally gotta do it. You totally gotta do it. Well, I got one, I installed it and about nine days or so after, um, driving around with it installed on my truck, it was, it just wasn't worth it guys. Did not live up to the hype. I did not like the product as a whole. Um, I wound up taking it off. Um, sending it back in, getting a full refund from K&N. Um, just real quick, it, it, this isn't gonna be a video on me just like ripping into K&N and saying, oh, like they're a scam and everything like that, cause they're not. I actually do really enjoy um, all the products from K&N, minus the cold air intake, but like I use their oil filters actually in the stock air intake box that I have on the F-150 right now, um, I have the K&N drop-in replacement filter, which I really did like, you know, the difference that that made in the way my truck drives um, in comparison from the stock one. But I'm gonna go into a couple things right now of why, in my opinion, a cold air intake without a tune or anything else just by itself might not be like, worth it or definitely won't live up to the hype that everybody says so. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is like the actual concept of a cold air intake. So this is the stock air intake on my 2006 F-150. It's the 5.4 uh, three valve Triton V8 engine. So this is, you know, this is the box. This is the actual intake uh, tubing and it goes down and plugs into right here. So the air that my truck is taking is coming from like underneath this fender or at least this general area right here now the cone the huge cone filter that you get with a cold air intake i mean you know it's it's taking in air from this entire general area around it so you're telling me that all of the heat being produced by the engine is not coming over and heat soaking and cr and creating warmer air that's being sucked in by these massive cone-shaped filters and these cold air intakes. I just can't believe, like common sense says that air being sucked from in here, like coming, you know, from like underneath the, the fender and whatnot, common sense says that there's no way that the air coming in from here is warmer than when you've just got this massive cone-shaped filter from a cold air intake that is exposed, you know, to all the surrounding area next to the engine, underneath the hood and everything like that. Um, I did read that, like, you know, oh, they've got, like, the heat shield and it, like, you know, supposed to, like, be, like, an airtight seal up against the hood and whatnot, but there, there's just no way that's true. Like, I mean, I'm not an engineer, I don't work on vehicles for a living, but common sense says that, like, there's no way that a massive cone-shaped filter that's just taking in air from all the neighboring, you know, areas around it is going to be colder or cooler than the air that's coming from the stock air intake right over here. And also, just to prove that I'm not just like a K&N hater or anything like that, I want to show you guys that I actually do use their products. This is the K&N drop-in filter. Um, for the stock air intake box. And I will say that after installing, goodness gracious, this thing is stuck, there we go. After installing this on um, my truck over the like OEM Motorcraft um, 
air intake drop-in filter, I noticed a significant increase in the way my truck ran. It essentially, I mean, if I had to say it, it basically delivered on everything that a cold air intake promised. I noticed better fuel, uh, um, fuel economy, throttle response, and overall horsepower. Um, like, so basically that was one of the reasons I got a cold air intake in the first place was because I was like, man, like if just the drop-in filter gives me this big of a difference in the way my truck runs, then switching over and using their entire air intake system, you know, must, you know, just take that over the hill and just make it that much better. Um, but to be honest, it just didn't. Now, as far as the promises that a colder intake will give your truck or your car in general, like a much meaner, more aggressive, like growl, throaty sound, it 100% delivered on that front. Anytime I turn the truck on or like really punch the gas to like pass somebody on the highway or something, it sounded like I was in a dang 5.0 Mustang or something like that. Go ahead, let a lady cross the street. Um, but yeah, like it definitely made my truck sound like a big old, you know, meaty V8, which is great. I really did enjoy that aspect of it, but I don't know if it, you know, I, like I said earlier, like I'm not an engineer, I'm not a mechanic, I don't do this for a living, but after installing the cold air intake, my throttle response was down. Anytime I stepped on the gas, there would be this like very distinctive lull or pause in between the acceleration and you could hear the air intake like really kicking in like and it would be loud and it would growl and it would sound aggressive, but it was almost like now my truck was having to work significantly harder to take in the air that it needed to, you know, go into the engine, mix with, you know, the fuel and convert it into power and whatnot. Um, and to be honest, the stock sound on a, you know, 5.4 F-150 isn't even that bad. Um, to be honest, if you're, if you're just looking for a sound, there's a lot of really great, um, you know, exhaust and muffler, you know, options out there um, that are definitely going to be, you know, less expensive than like a $350, almost $400 cold air intake, depending on, you know, who you get it with. Um, ease of installation, ease of installation was definitely like 100% one of the things that they delivered on. It was very straightforward, taking off um, the stock air intake system, super easy. Um, k &N, you know, has a uh, informative video on the internet on YouTube right now um, for how to install, uh, for how to take off the old one and how to install the new one. Um, and when I installed mine as well, I also like filmed the whole process and put it up there just in case you guys wanna go check that out. If you guys do decide to purchase um, a k and cold air intake and whatnot. But yeah, super easy to install to be honest. Um, especially now that I know what I'm doing, I could probably knock it out in under an hour. Um, very minimal, you know, hand tools required to do it and all that kind of stuff. But just like getting back to like, is this product what it's advertised as? Uh, in my opinion, guys, it's just simply not. It's advertised as like a bolt-on, no tune required, 15 to 18, you know, gain in horsepower um, for like, 350 bucks to 320 bucks or something and and to be honest it's just simply not that I'm sure that if I left the air intake on and I'd gotten a tune on the vehicle I'm sure that I would notice the horsepower gains that you know it was promising but in order to get a tune on the vehicle and to like buy a tuner and all that kind of stuff that's an additional like 300 to 500 dollars and so again like it, it just doesn't really seem like it's as advertised. And that was kind of my, my big beef with it. Um, like, like, not that it was like a bad product in general, but it just wasn't what it said it was gonna be. Well, let me talk to you guys real quick about how I actually do like the K&N products. So, as I showed you guys earlier, I have the K&N replacement, you know, drop-in air filter on my stock air intake. Um, like manifold right now. So after installing that, I did an oil change. I, you know, I basically I did like my normal, like monthly routine of like, all right, I'm just making sure all my fluids are topped off and all that kind of stuff. I did my oil change and then I was like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna change the air filter while I'm at it. Like, you know, think, you know, you can get it on Amazon for like 40 bucks or something like that. So I was like, all right. So I did it and guys, I'm telling you, like, I'm like, you know, 
I'm just, I'm just being straight up honest with you guys. There was an immediate and very obvious gain in throttle response. Um, there was like, I've been driving on the, um, you know, K&N drop in air filter now for probably coming up on over a month now, probably maybe, maybe six weeks, maybe five weeks. I, I, I can't remember for sure, but my, my fuel economy, I mean, it's not like, oh my gosh, it's so much better. But like, instead of filling up every single week, now I'm filling up like every nine days, every 10 days. So it is a little bit better and my driving habits haven't changed at all. Like I'm not driving a further distance. Like everything has stayed the same. The only thing that has changed is the drop in air filter replacement from K and N. Um, and also just overall like the ability to just get up and go um, throttle response is better which I've already said but it just seems like overall like I'm honestly like again not an engineer not a mechanic but it's probably at least probably at least a 7 to 10 horsepower gain out there um, in this truck with this with this new air filter in it there's actually a guy on YouTube who does a dyno testing where all he does is he changes out the original Motocraft filter with a K&N one, and then he changes out the entire thing and puts a K&N cold air intake on it. And actually the stock air intake system with the drop-in filter from K&N outperforms the entire K&N cold air intake system when he made the entire switch to that. So after experiencing that for myself and then later on seeing that video on YouTube, I'm like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Like those are the exact results that I got that I experienced for myself when I did that. My truck was, ru was running far better when I was doing the stock air intake with the drop in filter replacement as opposed to just switching over the entire system to the cold air intake. So yeah guys, that is my personal experience with the cold air intake. Hopefully this video was informative and helpful for some of you guys as you're looking to make, you know, a purchase or decision on your truck. Let's give you a quick, quick once over of what the truck is looking like right now. Yep, the Raptor liner still looks amazing. Um, I, I love this stuff, man. I get compliments on this stuff like literally all the time. I'm not even exaggerating. Um, Let's give you a, I honestly need to make an, a, an updated video for you guys. The last time I did a video talking about like everything that I've done in my truck, it got a great response from you guys. Um, but also like I've done so much stuff to it since that video. I honestly just need to make another video updating you guys on everything I've done. My next, eh, my next modification for the truck honestly is going to be on the inside. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to do some feel light leather seat covers for everything. I've got like this like one size fits all thing which I you know I do like for like a $10 price point it definitely was worth it. But I think I want to get like an entire seat cover thing right here. Um, I got new floor mats and whatnot but yeah um, I think my next mod is actually going to be on the inside of the vehicle. All right guys, that's gonna completely wrap up today's video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully this video was like informative and helpful to you guys. Um, to be honest, it's a video that I really wish I could have seen before going ahead and wasting you know, some time. I didn't waste any money because I got all my money back. They were great customer services, refunded me immediately um, you know, and paid for shipping on the way back, obviously. But you know, hopefully you guys can use this to make an informed decision for yourself and you don't have to just read a bunch of Amazon reviews <laughs> on the internet to decide whether or not to get this product or not. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. We're almost at 300 subscribers right now, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. There's a ton of new stuff coming um, on this channel, specifically with this F-150. You can see it right down there. Oh yeah. Tell you what, man, even through the window, she's a beaut. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You can't see it through there. But anyways, guys, really appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah.